Hello everyone, welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Victorian Ox knife. Uh, I'm a bit embarrassed to say this is one I've only really sort of getting into recently. It is one of the biggest models, biggest in the amount of sales that Victorian Ox does. And it is the classic SD. Now this one is an Alox model. I'll just grab the box here and you can see it's one from the classic colors collection i've got the lime twist alox you can see it on the front there we have the victorinox logo and shield in the silver part of the bottom on the side we have swiss made on the back we have all their sort of contact information so you got made in switzerland by victorinox their address edu contact details their website things like that and then you can see here classic sd alox colors lime twist and then we can see the model number here is 0.6621.241G. And I'm guessing the G stands for green. And then we have the from the makers of the original Swiss Army knife, established 1884. And again, Swiss made on this side as well. Nothing on either end. Very nicely presented inside the box. It comes with this like cardboard pullout. And the knife just fits wonderfully in there. Just pop this to one side. You do get some paperwork inside there as well, as you normally do with Victorinox. So this one sort of highlights all the different colours. You can get the SD in and you can see there is a huge collection of them. There's the one I picked up just here. I was really hoping to find a black SD and if any of you followed my channel before, you know black's my favourite colour. But I wasn't able to find one so I went with green as another fantastic colour. You can see here a bit more information. On the back you have the warranty and the standard how to maintain the knife, so it's just explaining if the blade gets stuck. All you really have to do is run them under some soapy water, let them dry out and then re-oil it and you're good to go. And some other sort of instructions there in different languages as well. So put that to one side. And here it is, this is the classic SD in the Alox, and of course the smallest one they make, this is the 58mm. And that equates to, without the sort of the key ring, nodule hang on the side there we've got one two about two and a quarter inches you can see of this the wonderful lime green color you can see the four steel pins that hold the sc together exactly the same as it is on the normal cellar door so you have these pins underneath the cellar door you can see you have stamped in there the shield and then this stamped sort of a locks pattern here of like the little square ridges does add to the extra bit of texture and grip and I really do think the Alox are one of the classiest types of knives they make. It just adds that little bit of... the For the red cellar door for me, it always looks sort of rough and ready. You know it's a work knife. It's going to go out there and get the job done. It's going to get scratched and banged about. The Alox ones, I always find myself taking a bit better care of them. Not saying I bash my other ones around, but I always find these. I would like to keep them nice, so I always sort of slip carry these. This one will actually be living on my keys, so we'll see how the colour holds up on that as well. On the back here, you can see we have Victorinox engraved in the little nameplate, something they've done on all the colour collections, so there's no free space for you to engrave anyone's name on this one, unfortunately. And again, you can see the four rivets on the back. Take a look at some of the tools. So, of course, the key ring would be number one, and that's one of the... This is probably the only size I really love the key ring on because for me, this is perfect size for the keys. Anything bigger than this, it gets a bit clumpy, a bit large in your pocket. So this will live on my keys, as I mentioned. It will live on my car keys here. So I've, gone, I've got the green to sort of try and match with the green of this. Obviously, it's not the same, but that, that's fine with me. It's going to live on there and we'll see how it holds up. Everyday carry, um, will the scale sort of rub off? Will the green come off or will it hold up really well? But we'll take a look at the tools on here. So we'll start from the back side and we have the small scissors. Exactly the same as the larger ones, just scaled down. And again, I know I've said it countless times, but these have got to be the most used tool on any Swiss Army knife, give or take. They're fantastically sharp. They cut things in a beautifully straight line. There's no sort of jagged or tearing or pulling. They just glide through really easily. Next up, we have what makes it the SD rather than the classic, which is the small tip Phillips, uh, sorry, flathead screwdriver with a nail file on there as well. And that nail file is, it does seem to, seem to be some sort of, I'm not sure if it's ground up diamond dust, I doubt it, or it could just be metal filings, but it is very effective. It, I do use it sometimes, maybe if I 
if I catch my nail working and it needs a sharp corner, I do use these very often to sort of file that down a bit. Or maybe for any sort of small task, maybe I know something you're using has got a sharp corner on some plastic, you can use that to sort of knock the edge off, make it a bit smoother and easier to hold. On the back, you just have the nice clean finish with that nice smooth, really well done nail nick. Not going to be looking at any sort of super strength pulls on this, seeing as it is really just a small keychain knife. I would say it's probably like a three or a four, but that's plenty for what it is. Obviously, it's not going to be a hard use tool. It's one of those ones that's going to live on your key ring. And maybe if you're out in public or you're in the office and you just need to open a letter, need to open a, a box quickly, you can just whip out this and just get the box open and put it away. And no one's going to get offended by that. And that moves me on to the blade. Who's going to get offended by a tiny little blade like that? See, it is the sort of the small pen blade or spear blade, whatever they would call it. We do have the three lines on the tang stamp just there. You can see Victorinox Swiss made stainless. So this is a very new piece. Obviously, I picked it up very recently, but it's one of the brand new ones. The older ones do tend to have the four lines on the tang stamp. But you can see a really nice grind on here, front and back. What I would really expect from Victorinox, I wouldn't expect anything less than, I'm not going to say perfection because there's always some sort of flaw with everything, nothing is 100% perfect. But the high quality they lend themselves to is what I would really expect, ex expect from this and they have pretty much nailed it. The edge is immaculate all the way down this side and this side beautifully even all the way down to the sharpening choil. And then again, a nice little tiny pen blade. Again, three pull, at four maybe max, but I'd say that's really sort of pushing the boundaries. So of course this is the 58 millimeter, you do get a very small blade on there. And we're looking at a full blade length of, we got one, just over one and a half, and then a cutting edge of just over one and a quarter inches. So a very small blade, but also one I find that's very useful for opening boxes quickly. And the way I would sort of tend to hold it, you can go for the pinch grip like this, which is quite effective. Or you could even, what I tend to do is put my thumb on the key ring and then I have my little, my finger underneath the blade and I can open my package or I can even do it the other way. This way, and you know the blade's going to be secure in your hand because if you've got your finger underneath, it's not going to close at all. Really useful little knife. One that I think could be the most carried small knife probably ever since it was created. I know loads of my friends aren't knife people. They're not one for knives, they're not big on knives, but the amount of them that have even just the, the normal red Celador SD on their keys is ridiculous. So it's it's a tried and tested tool. It's one everybody loves. And it's one that I've really sort of grown into liking. I'm trying not to go too mad and buying all the different color variations. I'll probably get a couple more of the A-locks and I'll have a little dabble into the other sort of 58 millimeters to see what I can find because I am really enjoying them. So there we go, guys. That's my review of the 58 millimeter Alox Classic SD in the lime green twist. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace out.